diamonds on me bust I'm ballin' no discussion I tell her shawty bust I tell her shawty bust I fuck her, I don't trust New chopper in this rush Be diamonds on me bust Man, it's a new era, Jokic You might've been the MVP But it's the Ant Show now Wolves on the rise and We ain't stopping Believe that Maybe it's time you can head back to Serbia, huh? Get cozy with all the little horses. And Joker and Ant-Man having some discussion right there. Joker didn't like the belts. No, not That's the belts. He didn't like uh, Anthony Edwards waving to the crowd as he's dribbling oh, up. I thought it was like McDaniels waving by. I thought it was McDaniels he didn't like. That's why him and Pope right now are talking about it. He didn't like him going to finish that or try to finish that. Caldwell Pope picked up his fourth. McDaniels at the line. He didn't like them both, to tell you the truth. Here's the wave, waving to the crowd. And then... Hey, I have not been to Minnesota in probably 20 years. Bring it. After, after going ahead by 20. Next question, man. The season's over. That's what's hard. Fuck being up 20. The season's over. You don't understand that. The season's over. It's hard. Stupid ass questions. Shut up. Shut up. Stop crying. Y'all blew a 21, 20 point lead in game seven. Y'all lost. Suck it up. Y'all won last year. You think that was a dumb question? You had the nerve to really point out and say that was a dumb question? It was actually a pretty good question. Listen. The Denver Nuggets, in general, not just Mike Malone, the Denver Nuggets are a bunch of sore losers. Other than Jokic, everybody else, especially Mike Malone, Jamal Murray, y'all are a bunch of sore losers. Okay? So that's exactly what we're going to talk about this video, y'all. What's good, y'all? It's your boy back again with another video. Listen, y'all been joining the NBA playoffs so far. Y'all been joining, joining the commentary. I've been giving these NBA playoffs. Give your boy a subscribe channel. If you're new, turn, I'm dropping every week, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Turn on the bell for notifications. You get net, verified for the next video I drop. Appreciate y'all for the support. Listen. Okay, game seven. Jamal Murray goes berserk in the first half, right? Jokic is doing his part. It's definitely in the second half, right? Minnesota Timberwolves went on like a 21-3-1. You started in the third quarter. At the end of the third quarter, Anthony Edwards, you saw the clip when he's on the bench. He said, I'm going to get in my bag. He got his bag late in the third quarter, right? Cut the lead to one. 67-66. Going to the fourth quarter. What happens? Well, instead of Rudy Gobert guarding Jokic, it was more of Cat sticking Jokic. Pause, right? Instead of my Colin God and Jamal Murray, it was Anthony Edwards taking on that challenge like, look, I'm a guard Jamal Murray this full quarter. Did a pretty good job on him, right? Instead of Rudy Gobert not guarding Jokic, he decides to like make himself accountable offensively, making a, a fadeaway shot. I never seen a shoot a jump shot a day of my life. When he made that, I was like, okay, Minnesota's gonna win this game, right? The biggest player and the most valuable player of the series, the obvious answer is everybody gonna say Ant Man, is Mike Conley. It's Mike Conley. Can we listen? Can we show some love to this dude? He's one of the most underrated players in the NBA. His whole career, right? Mike Conley is the reason why the Minnesota Timberwolves won this series. If Mike Conley wasn't on the floor for game six, if he wasn't on the floor, for, for game seven, Denver Nuggets would have beat the Minnesota Timberwolves in six, probably. Mike Conley frustrated the, the Denver Nuggets. Not just Jamal Murray. Definitely MPJ. Definitely KCP. To a lesser degree, Jokic. Mike Conley orchestrated the defense. When he's on the floor, Minnesota's defense is top tier. When he's not on the floor, Minnesota's defense is not nowhere to be found a little bit. Especially, especially if you were to go bear. It's something about having Mike Conley on the floor. He's good. He's probably the leader of this team. You can say it's Anthony Edwards. Anthony Edwards is a superstar of this team. 
Mike Conley is the leader of this team. Because literally without him, I don't think Minnesota wins the series. He was so huge down the stretch in the fourth quarter in game seven. Like so many key plays, the steals, the passing ability, the able to be the able ability, the capability to get to the basket, him frustrating Jamal Murray and Jokic. Yeah, y'all gonna be like, how is he frustrating Jokic? Well, he's helping out Cat and Rudy Gobert when Jokic is is has the ball in his hands, he getting double team. He's switching back on the players before they able to get get a shot off. Mike Conley knocking down key three pointers in the corner. Mike Conley gets to the free throw line. Mike Conley defensively was amazing, but his ability to orchestrate the offense also was amazing. I don't know why a lot of people are not showing him so much love because I'm telling you, if Minnesota did not have Mike Conley in Game Seven, hell, even Game Six, they probably would still won Game Six. What kind of blood that was, but Game Seven. There's no way the Minnesota was complete that comeback. There's no way without Mike Conley. He's the reason why they're in the West Conference Finals. He's huge. He's been huge for this team. Yes, we got the, the size, the defensive player of the year on the team, the superstar that's next coming, MJ, on the team, the long, lanky shooter that can spot in the corner and also defend a high level, Jay McDaniels. But Mike Conley is the, is the engine of this team, y'all. He's the engine. Look, we got to show some more love to Mike Conley, y'all. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. Now, let's get back to Denver. Again, y'all blew a 20-point lead in game seven. And y'all here crying about questions that it was valid questions. Y'all over here crying about the refs in the whole series. Y'all over here making excuses. Even when the, even with the Lakers series. Y'all over here, especially you, Mike Malone. I am. I ain't gonna forget this. You over here mocking the, the Lakers. Now look at you, cry, cry, baby. You lucky I can't say the word I really want to say. Shut up. I'm glad y'all out because that, bro, that, that really that pissed me off. Like, what are you crying for? Y'all got well, y'all won last year and y'all the defending champs. Y'all came that close. Y'all just choked. Minnesota was better in the fourth quarter. Okay, Jokic gave it his all. But if Mike Malone, I'm talking to you, if you would have made some better adjustments in the fourth quarter, maybe that reporter wouldn't have had that question for you. Can you take accountability? Oh, that's, that would be a dumb question, huh? All right. Anyways, y'all, look, that's going to do the official video. Look, I'm going to say this. I'm not going to give my prediction rules from that series because I'm not going to lie. I don't know who's going to win that series. That's going to be a fun series. I'm voting for the maps. I am. I love Luke and Kyrie, but I also love Ant-Man. So, I, honestly, I want to be mad whoever goes to the finals. I just think it's going to go seven. This is, this, this is, this is a toss-up. I don't know who's going to win this series, y'all. But that's going to do this video. Again, enjoy, if you enjoyed this video, give your boy a subscribe to if you new. Look, I'll see y'all next time, next video. It's be Bo Will and I'm out.